Good evening. My name is Caleb Mason, and rumor has it I am descended from Lowell Mason. <laughs> it's great to see a community rescuing an historic house and also appreciating the accomplishments of one of its famous residents. Time marches on, we all get left behind, but our important homes and people need to be remembered as the generations pass. I could bore you all with Lowell Mason facts, but I think you already know plenty. He was a great man. His children were also important, as were more recent generations of the family. <laughs> but what can we learn from people like Lowell Mason? How can knowing the Lowell Mason story change the way we go about our daily lives? That's what I'm interested in discussing briefly here this evening. What I take away from Lowell Mason are his passion, his kindness, and his generosity in teaching others what he loved so fervently. All of us here have had at least one and probably many teachers who made the time to help us. I was an unruly young boy, and Mrs. Hall in second grade put me on a strict behavioral path against my will that for all I know may have kept me out of prison years later. <laughs> We can all recall great teachers, and I expect some are in our midst right now. These are people who, given their own time, their own convictions, and their own codes of behavior to help others grow and learn. Sure, they may curse in private over the many daily challenges they face from the kids, the parents, the politics, but the best teachers all love to teach and to witness the fruits of their many labors. Lowell Mason was a born teacher, but he was more than that because he was also passionate about bringing change to how teaching was conducted. He had the crazy notion that there was a right way to sing better church music and believed it should be taught to children, something unheard of at that time. The theories for this new approach were coming from Europe and Lowell seized on them here in America. At first, many in Boston thought he was nuts. Teach children to sing, but he was determined, in fact, so determined that he did this all on his own dime to get it launched. It wasn't about the money, which did come to him as a byproduct of his passion. It was about attaining a high standard that he fervently believed in. He wanted to make a lasting difference, and he did. We know so much now about how studying music as a child influences the development of the brain. Just look at all the music programs in our school, starting in elementary school and running up through high school. So one possible outcome of Lowell's life that I can make very relevant to the people gathered here today is this. Is it possible the smash hit television show Glee, a show about children singing, would even exist if not for Lowell? <laughs> Go tell that to your smug neighbors over in Dover. <laughs> I think the lesson to take from Lowell Mason is to go forth in our own time of rapid change and divisive rhetoric and carry Lowell's combination of generosity, intellectual curiosity, open-mindedness, and love of what we do to the world around us, to be a generous and kind force for positive change. I think that is the larger message that Lowell left us. Thank you, everyone.